Okay, so we just took the device off of the charger and I'm gonna go over some of the buttons, the functionalities, everything that goes into this device. So looking at it this way, you'll see two buttons on each side, one and two. The button on the right is a reset button. So the device for all intents and purposes is always on. So there's no off button. You just need to charge it when you're not using it. The reset button, once you take it off the charger, you're gonna wanna just hit reset. Uh, this is also a good way of troubleshooting the device if something like the ECG or the BPM isn't working properly. Just reset that, it'll go off, come right back on, just like you see there. The button on the other side, Bluetooth can connect. Uh, so you'll hit this, you should see this turn orange. Yep, there you go, just a slightly different color. And uh, we'll need to use the app for that. We have the long version of the sleeve that you're gonna need the electrode and the wire and then the shorter version of the iOS Smart Sleeve. So let's go ahead and go into the app. So like I was showing you, I'm gonna go into the Scan Connect here. This is the home screen. Also, it's not gonna let you go anywhere uh, until you actually connect the device. So let's go Scan Connect. We hit the Bluetooth search. You're gonna see that Brighton HR. Uh, for this video, I'm using the uh, iPhone 11. And we're gonna hit scan connect. This message is, uh, should appear. Oh, maybe it didn't this time around. Okay. So sometimes there's actually a message that comes up. It says you need to insert a code. Uh, just hit, uh, just hit proceed. Let's see if this will do it again. I just wanna, forgot to show you that this will turn green once you connect it. So you see it right there. So good to go. Then we go back. And now we are going to put on the sleeve. So I'm gonna use the long version of the sleeve for this first demo. Now you're gonna see on the reverse side, there are two clips. Now, just a little bit about this device as well. If you're looking at it this way, there are two electrodes. The first one is on the top right. This is actually just a dummy electrode. This is so that it actually connects to the clips on the inside. So this one is simply to hold the device in place for when you're doing the ECG and HRV. This is an actual electrode. The second electrode is on the back. This part is the part that's going to be hitting your skin. Uh, electrode number two. This is red infrared. This is for uh, BPM SPO2. So just to show you an example, if you go into the quick scan, once you hit start, that'll start going. And if I, uh, you know, if I have the sleeve in, it's gonna show me some numbers. I'll show you that in a bit. But the most important part is to get the placement of this device inside your sleeve. Now we did a bit of a model uh, shift for some people. The device is gonna have to go in this way and for others, it's gonna have to go in this way. So the way you're gonna know that is on the reverse side, on the sleeve, you're going to see this line here. And this is called the trace, we call this a trace. So this is the holder for the dummy electrode and this is the part that actually needs to connect the second live electrode. So if I'm looking at it this way, this is the live one, this needs to connect to this. So, oops, it's gonna go in just like this. Then you can turn it around and place the place the sleeve on your arm. And for some people on the older models, um, it's not it's not older. We just uh, have rearranged it a little bit to make it more convenient. Uh, I just put it in this way. Some might have to put it in this way. So just m make sure you know this trace and this has to connect. So no matter how you place it, that's how it has to be. Okay, so now let's do this. And I'll put on the sleeve and we'll do an ECG. Now we're actually, the second part of the long version is the electrode placement. So let's take a look at that. So now for probably the easiest part of this tutorial is gonna be the electrode placement. And uh, we have Ivan here to demonstrate. Uh, sorry, I had to do this too, buddy, but uh, it's here uh, under his own volition, don't worry. Uh, so we have the device placed in the wrist area, right? Like we explained before, and it's connected. 
the other uh, connectors at the top, right? We talked about that as well. And now the electrodes that I mentioned early on, you're just gonna peel it off and you're gonna wanna stick it in this area here. It's pretty simple, kind of right there. That's pretty good. And then you're gonna take the connector clip and you're gonna just connect one onto the sleeve and one onto the chest. Very easy. And you're just gonna tuck that away. And okay, so now that you have the placement of the sleeve correctly, you've got the electrode on, uh, we're gonna do an ECG. So I have mine on, it's connected. Now, as we hit start, you're gonna wanna sit stable. You're gonna see this nice picture. I think it comes out here on the camera. So there you go. It's gonna show you your heart rate based on that ECG and then your HRV, which uh, we're gonna do a quick uh, HRV test. Let's see if this, yeah, you can see that pretty well. And once we hit the HRV, you're gonna get a bunch of options. Morning readiness, before work, after work, after exercise, uh, medication, etc., etc. So, you know, I'm just gonna do other. Making video. Hit done, start. It says, are you sure you want to try your HRV test for two minutes? Here we go, start, and you're just gonna sit still for two minutes. It's important to um, just remain stable uh, and not to tr move too much because it could interrupt the signal. I don't know if you can see in the video, but I can still see it going pretty well back here. Just gonna fast forward through this section. Okay, so here we have at the end of the two minutes, uh, we have the result. And it's gonna give you a quick little synopsis. So I got up a score of 3.53. This is at a five star scale, so that looks okay uh, for me. Then we hit stop. Now, if this doesn't uh, work, you know, if you're not getting a good ECG signal there, there's a way that you can just troubleshoot it. Um, take off the clip. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to put on the electrode either. And when, with this device here, place your place any finger on the opposite side. Now also important, I maybe forgot to mention, place the sleeve on the left hand. Okay, that's very important. Uh, it probably won't work as well on the right, maybe if, if not at all. So to troubleshoot it, you're gonna to wanna to place either your thumb or your finger on this elect on the electrode that has the trace, okay? Just to make sure that the device is working. And let's see here. So yeah, you, you will get a smaller signal, but you still see it, right? So you see the ECG there, and the most important part is that we're actually getting a heart rate variability reading. See there, one, two, six, three. So that's great. So that means it still works, and you simply have the placement is off. And if you're doing this and you're not seeing anything, you're not seeing an HRV, you're not seeing a heart rate, uh, then it's probably the device that's not working and uh, just get in touch with us and uh, we'll replace it. So now, same thing with uh, most of the other modes, uh, pretty self-explanatory, very simple. Uh, this is the quick scan. You're gonna see your SpO2 and your BPM. You just hit start. Uh, sometimes it depends on, on, honestly on the person. Sometimes it may take a while to get these readings, but just wait for a little bit and uh, it should pop up. There's the BPM, the SPO2. Sometimes you might need some movement for, oh, there we go. Okay, so it all works there pretty well. That's a quick scan. This stuff doesn't save, um, doesn't really store this data but the other part it does. And the, when I say store data, we have a dashboard that you can view everything. And this is just a quick scan. Like it says, this is the activity mode. So this is good for workouts. Once you hit start, you're gonna have running, cycling, uh, walking, working out. On our Android version, we have actually uh, work shift as well for you know different applications. And we're always adding uh, activities here. So, uh, oh, sorry, I had to select the activity. So. Uh, let's do some gardening. So you hit start and I got that right away. Uh, just wait for the BPM. It's gonna, the timer is gonna start. And uh, you can just turn it off. You know, you can turn it off, go do your thing. Uh, you don't have to have this open. Once I hit stop, uh, the activity will show up in the home screen. Now, same thing for the sleep analysis. You will simply hit start. 
uh, I would have to do a separate video where I fast forward through this, but you would hit start and simply put it away. That's it. So those are all the functions.